lot of our AFL listed players played really well. I think uh, Sam Berry was the standout. Sam's worked his way into a really good patch of form at the moment. So his, his ability to win the ball in a contest and then get on the outside is really good. But if you add to that, Jackson Haightley is another midfielder who, you know, he only played a half on the weekend because he sat out the second half as an emergency for the AFL. So he's in really good form as well. And then forward of the ball, Riley Thilthorpe had a really good game. You know, he's working his way, you know, to some really good form. Shane McAdam took one of the biggest marks you've ever seen, which is great. So there's some great examples of, of consistency. And then if we go down back, we've got uh, Fish Mackesy, um, uh, we've got Josh Worrell. So all the guys, there wasn't too many people that were passengers on the weekend, in fact, very little. And when the AFL have such a good win, you know, that, that certainly puts pressure on. Look, they, they've just got to be ready to go when their time comes. And yeah, Shano and, and Riley, you know, they presented really well. And, you know, while we've got them, I'll enjoy it because they, they certainly make a difference at Sandford level, but hopefully we can get them up as quickly as possible. We always push them to play higher than the Sandford level, and if we can do that, they'll be ready. It is important to have a strong club, is that we're putting pressure on the AFL squad, and off the back of the weekend's performance, we would argue that we're pushing our AFL players, and that's part of our role. Sam Berry's been outstanding um, throughout the pre-season. 11 tackles, 9 clearances, 9 scoring involvements. What, you know, it's a, it's a great game, so he's, he's very tough inside. We've seen that at AFL level um, even in his first season we saw that but now we're adding to that outside game which is important to get a good balance to uh, progress to be a good AFL player. Tariq Newchurch has, has come along nicely this year. Last year was his first year, uh, obviously an NGA selection. And this year he's really learnt how to play the game and he's working up and down the ground. And yeah, he, he missed a couple of shots on the weekend. If he took them, it would have been a really good game. But yeah, we're excited about what he can do. He, he, does, he does things that others can't, um, but he does have some areas of his game he's got to improve. Jay Boyle has been a, a fantastic player for me now, all year last year and obviously this year as well. He's taken himself to another level in terms of his fitness. Um, you know, he was, his contest work's been really good. He's really embraced being in an AFL system where he can learn and you know, learn the small things that he's got to learn because he's naturally a very good footballer. Plays for the team at all costs and um, yeah, another really good game by Jay.